Okay guys, so I showed you in one of the previous videos how not reliable are the carbon monoxide detectors. Okay, sometimes you will purchase brand new one and they don't even work. So I actually purchased this tester, it's a carbon monoxide tester. It's a smart sensor. Holy cow, this is small, I cannot even read this. So let me see, double glasses. AS87008. Okay, that's what it says right here. And that should be pretty good carbon monoxide tester. So let's see how this thing works, but let's go over it a little bit uh, first. So we're going to turn it on, just press the top button and it will start counting down, okay? So it's pretty much calibrating itself and you want to do this when you're sure that there is no carbon monoxide around or you can just skip it if you already calibrated before and it will go straight to zero as a, there is a zero carbon monoxide okay, okay. and um, it's ready to go pretty much there is a couple other modes uh, this is a this is a thermometer here which you can switch uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit right here which I never use and this is a light we'll just turn on like a green display okay that can be useful and turn it off and this is a mode the mode is hold what the hell is this wax main And then I don't know, so I'm not familiar with this uh, option here. That I would have to look at the user manual. But uh, let me tell you what I don't like about this thing is that it takes the triple A batteries and they will just go really fast. So you better get rechargeables, okay? Otherwise, you're just gonna keep it, you know, keep feeding it, feeding the batteries like crazy. But I wanna test this thing. So let's go ahead, and uh, you know, pretty much it has. Let's uh, see. On the other side, it has a clip you can put on your belt for whatever reason, and this is supposed to be the sensor right here that, that's all it's to it okay so let's go and test this thing okay guys so this fireplace is almost dead okay there is no more fire in there just ashes barely barely hot and this is the smart sensor carbon monoxide meter AS57008 I believe if I can read it correctly and I'm gonna close the chimney and let's see how this is gonna react okay I'm just gonna leave it here and we got 20 right now and you see how fast it's reacting, right? It starts beeping when it's a toy, I believe. Now it's coming up. It's 50. And it's staying around 50. 52, 53. Okay. 60. If I'm going to go inside, it's going to go up, of course. Now it's 100, 
135, 155, 176, 180, 190, and now it's 200. Okay? And of course it's going to come down right now. But this is how well this device works. I'm going to open the chimney again because I really don't want the carbon monoxide here. But this is really good. Now let's see when it's going to stop. I mean, it should clear, it should suck it out pretty much. Carbon monoxide. The chimney should suck it out. It's at 28, 26. Okay, 23, and it stopped. So this is really fast acting. Okay. And. Okay. And here is the oil here. Very hot, obviously. Cannot really get too close to it. But. You can see there's zero on it. Okay. And it's an open flame. Well, kind of. Still zero. I don't want to take this unit. Okay. And here, is the hot air coming out, so if there was something, it would be right here. Okay. Zero which is fantastic and now all right so let's see a little wind blowing here you see how fast acting it is It's really good. Um, I just wish uh, one thing uh, it has. I wish it had double uh, A batteries instead of triple A batteries. Because those batteries, I actually leave this on all the time since we make the fire here and then fire downstairs. So this is on all the time. And those batteries goes pretty fast. Right now I got rechargeables in there. But they will last for about five days to one week. No more than that. And then I have to recharge them again. But I just wanna I just wanna give thumbs up this puppy right here. Cheers!